portraits are great to do. I love doing portraits and I particularly love doing self portraits because self portraits are a way of uh, me practicing my craft without worrying about what anybody would think about the final image because it's me and I can get creative with it. So here it is, I created a video and in this video what I do is I create a self portrait of me as an old pirate and I use this reference uh, that you see here the one on the left is myself and the one on the right is just a reference that I used of a picture I took in of a man with a full beard that I needed to use uh, for as a guide for painting the beard so anyway like I said I, I put together this video and it is available on Gumroad and on this video what I do is I walk you through uh, talking about the materials that I use as far as the, um, the hardware I talk about tablets and then I go ahead and talk about the tools that I use within the program and I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook and Autodesk Sketchbook is now available for free so you can definitely download it from their website and um, it's a great program and but this painting is not particular to any one program any uh, program like uh, something like uh, Adobe Photoshop which has these uh, uh, layer editors with the same blend modes and, and a wealth of brushes that you can choose from uh, so you can use it on a program with uh, the same things and all these uh, programs are pretty similar so again uh, I go through uh, from sketch to to color studies to uh, grayscale image to final color and I walk you through it I walk you through the, um, the the tools the brushes that I use and I walk you through the blend modes and the layer editors and so forth and how I use those things to create a digital painting and uh, this like I said this video is available on Gumroad it is available for ten dollars to download or if you wish to rent it it is also available at uh, 480p to stream and you can rent it for two dollars um, also if you are a patron on my patreon uh, site you can go ahead and view these on patreon uh, and uh, that would be it I mean so you can get it one of uh, three ways you can go to Gumroad and you can either download it or you can stream it or if you are a patron you can or if you wish to become a patron on my patreon uh, on my patreon page you can also view it there all right so uh, I, I put together this video to show the method that I use to um, to create a digital portrait and uh, hopefully it will be uh, something that would be useful to you all right so the following is also a clip from where I colored the the, 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 um, the painting so it's more towards the end of the painting and you can see the quality and you can also uh, hear what I'm talking about in regards to how I put this together all right so uh, go ahead and view it and uh, um, if you like it you can go ahead and again download it on Gumroad I will leave the links below or you can uh, go ahead and look at it on my uh, patreon uh, web page all right all right thanks bye bye okay so I've added a new layer and um, what it is from here I'm transitioning from using the color layer because I pushed it as far as I want to go with the different uh, um, transitions between warm and cool colors and so forth and I basically colored this whole thing now the thing I need to do is uh, still apply more color and build up my image but this time I'm using uh, the normal blend mode on my layer and also just um, switching the transparency so what I'm doing now is I'm adding a layer and I'm adjusting the transparency of that layer with the slider on the on the right hand side of um, the, 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 the layer that I'm on uh, there's a slider where up and down you go and you can adjust the transparency of that layer so I'm still keeping some information underneath 
and at the same time I'm building up uh, the color and and um, applying it and with with some opacity because now with the normal blend mode you don't have that that transparency that you had in the color mode where it still kept what's underneath now I'm keeping some of what I'm uh, um, what's underneath because I'm using the slider to adjust the transparency but at the same time I'm building up uh, and this allows me to further uh, uh, smoothen out the transition between the colors and so forth like I did in the um, in the, the uh, grayscale painting when I did the grayscale and I, I, I uh, smoothed out the transitions between the um, the, the values but here I'm doing that mostly with the color and uh, that allows me to blend it more now um, also you'll see me jump around uh, different areas and um, it's like I don't start the eye and finish the eye and then go on from there I jump back and forth because that eye or that ear or whatever is affected by other areas of the painting so I'm trying to build it up uh, um, as one uh, slowly and making transitions and in and, and, um, and different areas so that the painting would be more unified I just don't do an eye and then finish the eye and move on from there or do a nose and finish the nose and move on from there because I'm making adjustments to these areas as I'm painting other areas because they are all part of one thing they are all part of the head and even the background is part of the the painting so I'm darkening it um, I, I wanted to make this uh, uh, portrait pop out more so I wanted a darker background um, and for right now uh, I'm just making it darker I think later on I would consider more of the color that I'm going to use for the background maybe uh, play around with it but for right now I just wanted to make it darker so that this uh, um, portrait would be able to pop out okay so that's that for right now